hey guys welcome back to zero degree coder in this video we are going to design this minimum login screen as you can see that we have a android logo or app logo whatever your app is it and we are having a text hello again and we are having a two input field if we click on input field we can write the email whatever email we want okay and we can have a password as well okay and when we use a click on sign in it will open the signing page uh, basically it will start signing okay so this is the screen which we are going to design so let's start so as you can see that this is the login screen which uh, which we are going to design okay so first of all let's create a new react native project to create react native project you have to just search react native environment setup after that you have to just open this page like by clicking by here and there is one command called npx uh, create react native latest in it so as you can see that there is one command create a new application you have to just copy this command okay after that open your folder like whatever place you want to create a project open the terminal and just hit this command okay and write uh, anything minimum minimal login screen okay and after that it will create a new uh, project so let's wait for some time now as you can see that our project is created okay after that what you have to do you have to type cd and press tab it will suggest a folder name so my project name is minimum login screen and i have to do hit enter and after that i have to just type code space dot and hit enter so it will open my project in the vs code as you can see that it is open my uh, vs code okay after that what you have to do if i make it uh, smaller let me make the vs code smaller uh, like this yeah looks better i think and after that you have to uh, just open a command by open your terminal and after that what you have to do you have to write npm start to start the emulator okay so let's wait for some time to start the emulator after that you have to type a to run on your android emulator to open an android emulator now as you can see that our app get bundle and we can see it on the ui we have a root app dot tsx here is the base code this is the base code so instead of using tsx i'm going to use javascript i'm not going to use java uh, typescript so i have to just replace with jsx and i'm going to remove this whole code and going to type uh, create one component by typing rnfes uh, how does this work so basically rnfes is command which create a react native functional export default component with style sheet uh, it's, it's work only if you install this extension called es7 es7 react redux extension it will suggest you uh, to make the component quicker so basically if you install this comp uh, this extension so you have to just type r and react native functional export component so it will create a functional export component like this okay now uh, we have to design this screen as you can see that we have a one icon after that we have a text and welcome back you have been missed okay so let's do that as well quickly so first of all uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to create one component so I'm going to create a source directory inside this directory I'm going to create another directory called screen and inside here i'm going to create login screen dot jsx okay now after that i'm going to type r n f e s to create a react native functional export style sheet component okay now you have to just import this login screen component here like this just by typing the control plus space it will show the suggestion and hit enter so it will uh, you know import the login screen component now let's go to the login screen here we have to let's style this quickly so first of all what we have we have a one uh, you know this vector icon okay so to get that vector icon what do you have to do you have to install the react native so basically to get this icon we have to install the react native vectors icon so let's install the react native vectors icon quickly react native vector icons okay now after that uh, let's open this you have to copy this command react native vectors icon okay 
and open a terminal and just install the package react native vectors icon so it will install the react native vectors icon after that you have to do some extra setup just scroll down okay if you scroll down so you will get that we have to add this code in the android app build.gradle so let's go android app build.gradle and just just paste it here okay after that there is one more thing which we have to do inside the android app dot build dot gradle we have to replace add this line as well inside the dependency block so let's scroll down more and more now as you can see that we have a dependency block and here we have to add either add this line as well so let me add this line quickly here okay now after that i'm going to go to uh, again rebuild my app by typing the a and pressing the a again so as, now as you can see that uh, we have installed the react and vector cycle after that to use the android icon what we have to do as you can see that there is a lot of icons like font awesome icon font awesome five brands font awesome six brands and many more so i'm going to use i know icons quickly so use this what we have to do we have to do like this import whatever the icons name you want to give and after that you have to type import from the react native vectors icons okay and slash you have to pass the i you know icons name like whatever icon you are using okay and after that let's add this quickly i know icons and we have to pass the name as uh, whatever the name is it so it's called logo android so let me copy this okay we have to pass the name we have to pass the size as well the size will be almost 30 for now okay so we have to pass the size whatever the size is it and after that if you let's check on the figma the color we have to check the color also the color is this color so let me copy the color and add the color as well so color will be this color okay uh, my bad let's add the color quickly okay awesome now you can see that this is the color which we are which we have okay now you can see that the i this uh this thing is in the center right so let's add the icon in the center quickly so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna minimize my terminal okay and we're gonna have a style is equal to style dot container and i'm going to style the container quickly so container gonna be flex uh, one okay and the background color which i want that is this is the color okay so let me copy and add this background color as well okay and after that we're gonna have a style this justify content uh, center okay and if i reload this uh we are not able to see anything why okay so basically what was happening now so we have to find a flex one here right and when we are uh you know wait in the root app we don't define a view to the any width and wide so that's why like it's taking the only not any width so let me remove this view from the hair okay and let's go to the login screen component okay and where we have to write all the styling whatever we want to write so let me style write the styling quickly okay so this is the color not this color but this color okay the background color which we had added okay and after that what we are have hello again text so let me add a text called hello hello again okay uh, hello again okay and another text is there it's called welcome back welcome back like this small casing you have been missed okay so let let add the text called welcome back you have been missed okay and after that we have a two uh, input field quickly text input uh, text input and the placeholder is called we have placeholder name is email another text input called password okay and after that we have a button you can see that we have a email and password in text input field is there 
<laughs> and we have a button as well so I'm gonna use touchable touchable opacity touchable oh my bad touchable opacity okay and after that here what we're gonna have we're gonna have a text as a sign up sign in basically let's add a text of sign in as well and after that we have a but we have a, a not a member registered now text as well so let's add a that well that well text uh, not a not a member not a member okay like this and registered now we have another text here okay so I'm gonna wrap this all in the touchable opacity and we're gonna have uh, this another text where we're gonna have a registered now text registered now okay so this is the element which we are designed right now so let's add this styling quickly so I'm gonna style the container so justify content center okay and align items center as well okay now after that uh, let's increase the, this icon size the icon size will be almost uh, 150 I think yeah I think 150 looks better not 150 but uh, 1 1 10 looks much more better no it's still let's make it 100 for sure okay now after that we have a text called hello again text so let's add a styling for this so I'm going to write the styling for here this air the font size will be 25 okay and the color which I want uh, the color which is it that is called black so this is a color code let me replace add it here okay and the font weight we have uh, almost 500 okay 500 and we want some margin top margin top will be almost uh, almost 80 margin top will be 80 okay looks better after that we have a text called welcome back and let's add styling to that as well style is equal to and we're gonna have a as well font size will be I think this looks 30 much more better and we're gonna have a replace with a font size of 25 okay and the color is same again black and let me reload this awesome now let's add a margin uh, margin top as well margin top of 20 okay and we have another uh, text input filled both so let's add a styling for this style is equal to styles dot okay so let's add a line style here also so the background color which is uh, we want that is called white so let me choose the color which is this is the white color okay let me add this color so background color will be this color and the color is okay and width will be 100 percent 100 percent okay not let me get 80 percent i think 80 percent looks better all right it's not 80 but but 90 percent looks much more better so let's add a 90 percent instead of 80 percent okay and the color which i want is called black color is black not black i think it's gray something like gray so let's add a uh, for this color gray something related to gray so i just add a gray color here okay and after that we gonna add uh, some border radius of uh, 20 border radius of 20 border radius of 10 looks better i think okay and we're gonna have uh, some uh, padding uh, horizontal of 10 as well <coughs> okay awesome now we're gonna give some margin uh, uh, vertical will be almost 20 if i give yeah looks better i think 
and again let me copy this styling for his styling and let's add it here as well okay and you can see that it's not looking perfect so let me remove this margin horizontal and now it's looking much more better okay now after that we have a button sign in button let's add a sign in button quickly uh, this is the sign in button and I'm gonna style this uh, quickly so background color will be uh, this purple color so as you can see that I have already uh, added created a purple color background so let me copy this and add it here okay the background color and the width which I need is called almost 90 percent yeah 90 percent and the height okay let me add the height here and here we're gonna have another style color with which I want is called white font size will be 20 25 let's add a 25 font size of 25 and some font weight as well font weight of 500 and we're gonna add a text align center and I'm to give I'm to give some padding as well padding of 20 not 20 padding of 10 looks better and let's add a border radius of uh, border radius radius of 10 okay again margin uh, and let's add a margin vertical of 20 as well here and margin vertical is 10 looks better I think and the padding looking much more get greater so let me make it 8 perfect now after that no 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 10 looks better and the size is 20 looks better I think perfect now after that we have a text called not a member so let's style it that as well so style is equal to style dot uh, uh, font size will be font size will be what uh, 12 color which I want is called black okay and as you can see that another style is called color will be purple let me add this color quickly and purple color perfect why this is extra okay let me remove this color is purple and the font size I think 20 looks uh, how does 20 looks let me check it the font size 20 is becoming too much bold which I don't want let's add a 15 so the yeah looks better not member registered now and the register now text color is this color not purple color and let's add it I want some font weight here as well the font weight a uh, font weight of 500 so let's add 500 as well awesome so as you can see that this is the screen uh, I think uh, yeah looks better so this is the screen which we had designed right now a uh, login screen uh, this looks much more better right uh, so yeah I will push the code in the grid up you can guys check it out so let me thoroughly revise that so first of all we had installed the react native vector cycle and after that we had styled this component i see i see that uh, this margin uh, top is too much so let me make it 70 okay so yeah that's all in this video guys so if you guys face any issue regarding building this ui you can ping me on this uh, you can join this whatsapp group uh, you can join this whatsapp group by scanning your camera and just let me know your query regarding react native or anything regarding react native app development full stack app development web development anything just let me know guys thank you bye